everyone was telling him that the election was not stolen by fraud. Do you think he knew that he lost the election? Do I personally believe that? Yeah, at first I wasn't sure, but I have come to believe that he uh, w knew well that he had lost the election. And they're also saying that he was just exercising his First Amendment right here. Do you think that's a valid argument in your view? No, I really don't think that's a valid argument. Because, you know, as the indictment says, you know, he, he, they're, they're not attacking his First Amendment right. Uh, he can say whatever he wants. He can even lie. He can even tell people that... Uh, that uh, the the election was was stolen when he when he knew better, but uh, that does not protect you from entering into a conspiracy. All conspiracies involve speech, and all fraud involves speech. So uh, you know, you, free speech doesn't give you the right to engage in a fraudulent conspiracy. The other thing that they're arguing, including John Laro, Trump's Trump's new attorney, to me last night was that they were simply asking the former Vice President Mike Pence to pause on the counting of votes. Mike Pence pushed back on that today, said that's not what they were asking him to do. Let's be clear on this point. It wasn't just that they asked for a pause. Uh, the president uh, specifically asked me and his gaggle of, uh, of crackpot lawyers asked me to literally reject votes, to, which would have resulted in uh, in the issue being turned over to the House of Representatives and literally chaos would have ensued. What do you make of his supporters, his political supporters, giving him money to his campaign and he then uses that for his legal fees and his co-defendants' legal fees? Yeah, I, I, I find that uh, sort of nauseating. I mean, this guy claims to be a multi-billionaire and, you know, he goes out and raises money from hardworking class, hardworking people, small donors, and tells him this is to defend America and to, you know, take care of the election. He didn't provide any s significant support during the 22 elections. Uh, and a lot of this money seems to be going to his legal fees.